Oh yeah, guys, look at this. Rain all over the place, wet. Clouds, it's gonna start pouring. I got like probably like three minutes. I can make a video real quick. Gotta do it, gotta do it. So earlier I was talking about Arma RCs. Um, it wasn't Arma actually, it was uh, Tower Hobbies on Instagram. They they have the new uh, Losi 8XE and uh, it's really cool. This thing handles like a dream though for a car, even on a wet uh, road surface, you know, you could like really control it real well. You know what I mean? I love it. This thing looks good too for what it is, man. I'd say about probably this thing could hit easily 45 miles per hour on 3S. Right now, I'm just kind of easing into it on this terrain, you know, hopefully get in the racing someday uh, if, if, if my time and money allows it, time and money allows it. It turns on the dime though and the handling, man, for low C. They really dialed it in with this, this buggy. So, uh, you know, I would eventually like a full scale, eighth scale, eight. XE maybe you know if I save up get that money put in for it but uh, if you guys want to check it out just follow Instagram Tower Harvest or just look it up you know it's uh it's on pre-order I don't know when it's gonna come out Team Losi Racy is getting it um, but man yeah the buggies are looking good man because when you look at the 3S line and you look at the speed and the handling of this you could actually control it and the and the asphalt is wet too so considering how wet the asphalt is it, it's handling really good. I could go where I wanted to, manipulate what I wanted to do, and just uh, control it. See, that could go between these water circles like this. Look at that. It's so easy. You could just boom. It's just like perfect. Damn, full control, man. It doesn't even slide out even on the, the crazy wet uh, tarmac. It's crazy wet tarmac, you still have pretty good control with these knobby tires that are kind of worn out. Let me show you real quick. So if you look right here, you'll see that, see these knobby tires right here? See, I wore them out too, like cause I always run this thing on the road. And even though it's worn out, it still uh, runs really good, being that it's worn out. Okay, I don't know what this lady's doing. She might be like trying to stop to play Pokemon or something, but uh, oh no, okay, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, see the knobby tires worn out, but you still have good control for what it is. See, I can even drive on the sidewalk all perfect. That's what I like about the low seat because it just always drove well. You could chase some cars, you just tailgate them like that. Chase them, tailgate them like that. Just don't get run over, you know what I mean? And you just go with it and it's quiet, it drives smooth. You turn smooth. You hit the throttle, boom, and you race. Let me try to catch up with this white truck. Let me see without getting run over. He could stay on his tail just like that. Turn around, boom, gone. No one's gonna catch me. Woo! No one's gonna catch me now. Oh, I think that lady is playing Pokemon. I have this little Pokemon stop here, a gym. People come over here. Sometimes, you know, they'd be all crowded playing their Pokemon game. And I'll be running my RCs. They're all impressed. You know, oh, I was gonna comment. You know what's funny? People don't know about RCs, they first see it. The first thing they always ask you, there's two questions. I think y'all know what it is. The first one is always, how fast does it go? And the second one is always, how much is it? Yeah, I can put my life on it. It's like every single, I like, probably like 10 times in a row, a new person will come up and be like, how fast does it go? How much is it? Where could I get me one of those? <laughs> oh man, it's hilarious. It makes me laugh so much. But it's it's so true though, guys. And any of you guys that have been arts for a while know that you'll like hear it and you'll be like, they'll say the same thing, you know? Man, this thing handles like a dream. Look at that, go between the water. Ooh, don't splash too much, but this thing is waterproof. I'm, I'm like visualizing a track in my head right now because I want to get to racing. Damn. This, I think this thing will kick ass racing, actually, to be honest, guys. Even with the water. Imagine on dry surface without the water. It'd probably run like real good. It's quick for a little 14 scale, right? Ooh. Damn. 
love this visualize see the water on the on the street is my track right now I'm visualizing because all the dry parts is what I want to stay on and then like the wet parts is what I avoid to drive I'll try it again Woo, make a u-turn see that it turns on the dime though Woo, damn I think I'd be a pretty good racer if I really tried it if I practiced a little bit you know ease off the throttle I just need one of those censored motors to really get it but I'm digging these buggies nowadays man anyways you know I'm thinking Bushmaster 8e a couple of my guys talked about it thanks for watching guys I love you all man I gotta run in I'm so happy because I thought it was gonna rain super hard I'm like two hours is gonna be killing and raining like oh this thing jumps too super well by the way um, so yeah, this race buggy compared to, and look how it turns too, servo, super good, you know. It's cheap controller though, doesn't get that good of a range, to be honest, so, um, I'm still using the old stock controller. But, um, yeah, man, I'm dying. Oh, look, there's like a booger on it. Why is there a booger on it? <laughs> what is that? Uh, anyways, <laughs> you guys see that? Uh, I must have caught a booger on the way driving, but, uh. Nah, I'll, I'll wipe it off. Don't want that booger to get lost. It's not my booger. You. Anyways, guys, have a great day, and I will see you on the next episode. All right. And on to the next one.